What's up people, this is Vishal and I'm back again with another code long session. In this video, we'll be learning about garbage collection in JavaScript. So let's go. So let's first understand how memory allocation happens in uh, the programming languages. So we'll talk about two types of languages. One is the low level languages like C and uh, high level languages like Java and JavaScript. So in C and like low level languages, uh, the memory allocation is done by a, a malloc, C alloc, realloc and free etc uh, it is up to the developer for uh, to clear up the allocated space by using the free function okay so but when it comes to high level languages like uh, javascript the memory allocation is done is done on the declaration of the variable so uh, particularly when it comes to javascript when you uh, write a variable and assign a value to it that's when the memory allocation happens and when the allocated memory is not in use anymore, it, the, there is a process called garbage collector, which will be clearing up the space, which is exactly similar to what free would do, but it is automatically handled by the garbage collector process. So now let's see a few garbage collection algorithms and uh, actually understand how garbage collector understands which memory is to be freed up. So uh, I'm going to talk about two uh, algorithms today. So one is the reference counting algorithm and the other one is mark and sweep algorithm. So the reference counting algorithm, the logic is very simple. It is just going to check the references of the data that is stored in the memory. If the count of the references of the data is equal to zero, then garbage collection understands that it has to sweep that memory. Okay, so uh, let's take a very simple example. So I create a variable let test var equal to some string. Okay, so now, as when this program runs, it sees that the test var is storing a string and to store this string, it is going to allocate a space in the memory uh, for a string and then it will store that string over there. But later in the code, when I change the test var to one, now uh, the string data that I stored in the memory before is not having any references anymore, right? So since there is no references, the reference counting algorithm will see that, okay, the reference for this string is zero. So uh, the garbage collector will now uh, sweep the space for the string, right? So uh, let's ex uh, change this example to uh, see an object now. So when I store an object where I call it uh, key, 10, uh, key 2, 20, and something like this. And later in the code, when I say test where dot key 1, okay, key equal to, uh, let's say later I store a string in this. So uh, for this kind of example, uh, you'll see that when the program executes, it allocates the space for this object. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't matter what uh, numbers or strings that are there in this it I'm just going to talk about the out outermost layer so it is going to talk, uh, store this object into the memory and later in the code we are having the references to the key right so there is one reference to the key where I'm changing the value of doing whatever so since the key is being referred the garbage collector reference algorithm is uh, will see that okay the reference count is not uh, uh, zero and it is greater than zero hence uh, the garbage collector will skip this uh, allocation it is not going to clear up this space right but the moment i go to test where and uh, assign it a number now the references for this particular object are gone so no none of the keys are getting a reference anywhere in the code and uh, since there are no references anymore the garbage collector reference counting algorithm will see that the data is having zero references and hence it is going to clear up that space, right? Okay, now uh, there is one problem with reference counting algorithm. So let's look at that. So uh, let's create a function and inside this function, I'm going to create uh, two objects. So let's do that quickly. So let test obj equal to this and let test object 2 equal to another object and inside my test object 1 dot key 
I am going to reference to test object 2 and the same thing here so in, in test object 2 I am going to reference the test object of 1 okay and uh, we will just return some thing from here return the okay so once we run this code yeah so once we run this code the memory allocation is done done for test obj and then the memory allocation is also done for test obj2 now test obj is having a reference to test obj2 and test obj2 is having a reference to test obj1 and uh, the reference counting algorithm is since it is just working on the references it is going to see that uh, uh, it, it go, when the code executes it sees that uh, test object 1 is still having a, a active reference to test object 2 while the test object 2 is having a, a active uh, reference to test object 1 so if this algorithm is used the reference counting algorithm it will you will see that there is a cyclic dependency over here garbage collector will always see these two objects as uh, as the references like both of them have references to each other and it will never clear up the space of these two uh, objects though the function has executed and continued further like uh, the when i execute the test the all these things happen the function has execution is complete even though it is complete it is still seeing that the references are active in the in the memory and it is not going to clear up that space right that's when mark and sweep algorithm comes into the picture so the mark and sweep algorithm the idea is very simple the idea is that uh, uh, when it is not going to check the references of the storage it is going to check the reachability of that particular uh, data right so if the data is unreachable by anywhere in the code then it, the garbage collector will clear up that space so it will mark it and sweep it by the name of it and uh, uh, if the if if the code is still reachable it is going to be uh, left uh, alone right uh, the data is not going to be sweeped so uh, but for this example so but i call test so uh, the test when when the test function is executed and completed the execution uh, and nowhere in my code i'm calling test again so the garbage collector will understand this entire uh, references that are created inside this function as op as obsolete right so all of these are not reachable anymore from anywhere in the code so the garbage collector will uh, just clear up the space that was allocated for executing for executing this function and hence mark and sweep algorithm is uh, basically better for uh, avoiding the memory leaks in the code but uh, the, the same example if you see by a reference counting algorithm this will go on creating these two objects and it will never understand when to clear it and it will eventually cause the memory leak in the application so that's all about uh, uh, garbage collection in javascript so if you have any questions uh, on this please drop a comment in the comment section uh, like and share this video so that uh, it gives me motivation to do more and uh, see you in the next video thank you